Okay, I've had a few students ask me questions about how you can write an explicit formula or an exponential function when you are given a table. So I'm going to walk you through that a little bit today. Now you notice at the top here, I already have my table written out. Notice how I've used proper function notation. X right here will be my input. And down below, I've got f of x, which represents my output. A lot of times you guys have seen that as y, isn't, uh, excuse me, as y in the past. And for right now, we're going to call it f of x, because we're using function notation. Now, one thing to notice, and this is pretty important. Notice that my inputs are all going up by 1. That is very important for the process we are doing. For right now, that's what you're going to see. But in the future, if you see your inputs are not going up by 1, you're going to have to use a method that's a little different. So remember, this only works if your inputs are going up by 1. All right, now first step, I want to figure out what exactly is going on in my table. First of all, is it even exponential? Let's take a look. I get from 6 to 12. Now, we have a couple ways we can get there. It's either plus 6 or times 2. So let's see which one holds up. I go from 12 to 24. Ah, times 2. Plus 6 won't work this time. Let's try this again. 24 to 48 times 2. 48 to 96 times 2. So as you see, this is not going to be a linear function. If it was a linear function or an arithmetic sequence, it would be going up by addition. Since it's going up by multiplication, if you remember, this is what we call a geometric sequence. Whoops. Quick fix. All right, so just notice I'm writing down geometric sequence so I know that. Now I got to come up with the formula for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write using basic function notation f of x equals. And this tells me is when I plug in x for something, I can get an output. Now, I notice that I'm multiplying by 2 each time. So I'm going to write 2 in here. Notice I'm going to write 2. And since this is an exponential function, that means my input is going to be my exponent. So I'm going to make x my exponent. Now the key here is to figure out how this begins. Now you'll notice I left a blank space here. There's a reason for that. And let's see what color should I use. I will go with brown. All right. I didn't include zero. Zero is important, and you're going to see why in a moment. Now, I noticed that going forward, I am multiplying by two. Now, if I were to go backwards, opposite of multiplying would be dividing. So if I were to divide by two, going backwards, six divided by two would give me three. And that 3 is going to be my initial number here, 3. So I've now written my exponential function, which is 3 times 2 to the x power. So what I'm going to do, plug it in. Let's see if it works. All right, so I'm going to plug in, let's see, 2 is my input. So then I'm going to do 3 times 2 to the second power. Now remember, order of operations tells me I have to do my exponent first. A lot of us might try to do 3 times 2 first. Doesn't work. Exponents come first. 2 times 2 gives me 4. So I can do 3 times 4. 3 times 4 gives me 12. Hey, well you know it worked that time. Let's try another one. Make sure it still works. I will try an input of... I'm going to jump around a little bit. I'm going to try my input of 5. So, we're going to plug it in, 3 times 2 to the 5th power. Now remember, 2 to the 5th power means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And it is not 10. A lot of people want to jump to that conclusion. 2 to the 5th power must be 10. Nope. 2 times 2 gives me 4. Whoops. I didn't want that to be a line. Let's fix that. 4, 8, 16, 32. 3 times 32. When I multiply it out, I get 96. And what do you know? When I go back up to my table up here, whoop, it works. Input of 5 gives me 96. Input of 2 gives me 12. So my function worked. It's always good to check it once you get there. Remember, an exponential function is a geometric sequence. 
We're going to try one more of these to make sure you guys are on board with it. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to create another table. I'll do this one vertically. Sometimes you see them vertically. I don't want that to throw you off. Not a big deal. Sometimes they're lying down. Sometimes they're standing up. Table is a table. All right, I'm going to leave a blank space here for zero. I'm going to have four inputs. Now, let's see. I will start this time with, let's say, 15. Ah, uh, no, I don't think I'm going to go with 15. You'll see a reason why in a second. I don't want to use 15. I'm going to go with 20. Nope. Quick fix. So we got erasers. All right. So now I got to come up with my function. Now, I know that it, this is a geometric sequence. How do I know? Because each time my output isn't going up by times 2. Multiplying by 2. I did that on purpose. And also know on the right here, I mean on the left, excuse me, all my inputs are going up by 1. That is important. If my, all my inputs aren't going up by 1, this is not going to work. So I can start writing my function f of x equals, I'll leave the first part blank, but I know it's going to be times 2. Remember, that's where this comes from. Times 2 goes right here. And since this is an exponential function, my input would be my exponent. And now I just need to figure out where I'm starting. So to do that, I'm going to go back to 0. They didn't give me that, so I'm going to have to work my way backwards here. So if I'm multiplying by 2, I could also divide by 2 to go backwards. 20 divided by 2 gives me 10. So that means my starting value would be 10. So I'm going to take 10 and multiply it times 2 to whatever exponent we are going to be inputting in here. And let's see if it works. Let's try f of 3. So that would be 10 times 2 to the third power. Now, 2 to the third power is not 60. It wouldn't be 2 times 2 times 2. That would not give me 6. That would give me 8. So 10 times 8. Multiply that out, and I get 80. Let's see if that works. When my input is 3, my output is 80. My function works. So I've just written an explicit formula here as well as an exponential function. And that's basically how you do it. Those are going to be the basic examples you would end up seeing, in, at least in your near future. As it gets more difficult, I'll give you guys a bit more videos and a little bit more uh, assistance with it. But this is how to get there for right now. Hope this helps.